Uh, the House Farm Bill very much benefits southern farmers and what it does is increases payments to a large extent on, on, on rice, peanuts and seed cotton and does much less for corn and soybeans. If we're looking at sort of changes in farm bill spending, if you look at the Midwest, the increase could be something like $20 per base acre to 30 and if you go into southern counties where uh, rice and peanut acres predominated, it can be much higher in the 60 to $70 per acre range. So this has been, <laughs> this is not new. Mm -hmm. It's been this way for many years. Yes, this has been this way in many, care, many years. Um, uh, southern crops, peanuts, rice, and cotton get more payments than corn and soybeans. Uh, you can list a lot of reasons for that. Uh, Southerners may be just better at politics than Midwesterners, and uh, and and those those a those crops have fewer acres. So if we have a larger payment on per acre, from a aggregate sense, it has much lower impacts on total spending than it would for corn and soybeans. Still, nevertheless, is. Uh, uh, raises real equity issues about what we're doing with these commodity title programs. So can that be changed? It probably can't for this farm bill, but what does it take to change that over time? Yeah, well, the, the farm bill is probably not happening this year, and we can think about renegotiating that. So there's nothing that necessarily ha says that we have to make the situation worse in this farm bill. But overall, I think we have to make the commodity title program more market oriented based on crop more crops and bring, make the effective reference price more important and statutory references prices less important and we have to make sure that crop insurance is uh, uh, rated and subsidized properly.